Hi guys, let's have a look at Pool D. It's a very exciting pool. We've got Wales, we've got the Wallabies, Australia, Fiji, Georgia, and Uruguay. Now, I like the makeup of this pool because there's a lot of exciting games. But first of all, let's just have a quick look at the warm-up games for Georgia and Uruguay because we haven't mentioned them in the top 11 contenders video I just did. Now, Georgia chose to play Scotland and they got two big losses. But they did compete hard. However, I do think that's a worthwhile exercise. They've just got to get used to playing fast teams because it's going to be a fast, hard track World Cup. So even though they lost, I think that's a good choice. Um, Uruguay got a big win against Russia, but then they did get quite a big loss against Spain who haven't even qualified. Let's have a look at the match schedule. Now, all these pools have been opened by really exciting games, and this is no exception. Australia-Fiji is going to be an absolute cracker. I think the fourth game is a good game as well. Georgia-Uruguay, that's the big battle. That's the one they're going to want to win. But it's horrible for Uruguay because they've got a four-day turnaround after facing Fiji. So maybe, you know, advantage to Georgia there. Uh, big game in the middle, Australia-Wales. You know, there's no pressure with a turnaround. It's going to be full bore, everyone fresh. Can't wait for that one. And if Wales, say, did lose, then there'd be that huge game coming up, Wales-Fiji on the 9th, and that would be tense. Now let's have a look at the past record in the World Cup for these teams. I've started from the start of what I believe is the modern professional era in 99. And Wales have done all right. They've got three quarter finals and then the semi-final in 2011. Um, so you could say a semi again would be a reasonable target, but they know this is a big chance. They've got a very good team. They've had some good results, some good performances. So I think the target for them is final. Oh, by the way, targets I set in these videos are those boring targets that the boardroom is going to set, no, those minimum targets that they'll assess behind closed doors to see if their, their coach achieved what they expect them to achieve. You won't hear these sorts of targets, I don't think, in the media because they're not really that motivational, to be honest, but they're more realistic for me. Now, the Wallabies, fantastic record in the World Cup. Um, one in 99, not two final, semi-final, quarter-final. Um, they always play well in the World Cup. So the only side that I've predicted as a minimum target win or bust is New Zealand. So I'm sticking with the, the final as the target for the Wallabies. Um, on to Fiji. Actually not a great record in the World Cup in the modern era. That star on the quarterfinal is a playoff, so it doesn't really count. So only one quarterfinal for them. Um, and it's a tough pull. It's a seriously tough pull, but they've got to believe they can turn one of those big teams over. So I'm going to set the target as quarterfinal. I think that would be an outstanding return for them. Georgia have built. Didn't qualify for the tournament before 99, um, and then they've competed but not got out of their pool. And it's a tough one to do the same. But I definitely think they need to beat Uruguay and be very competitive in the other games. So that's my target for them. Um, Uruguay, mixed bag, didn't qualify for uh, two times in 07 and 11. Um, but Georgia surely is their only target to win a game. So the minimum target for them is one win against Georgia. Finally, on to predictions. I think Wales are going to top this group. I think if they can keep the game nice and close, nice and tight against Australia, shackle them with their great defence, they can see out a close win and top the group. Australia, I think, are going to have too much for Fiji in that opening game. Fiji may well build into the tournament, but if they lose against Australia first up, it could be all over. But I do think they'll beat uh, Georgia, and I think Georgia are going to be too strong for Uruguay. So that's how I see Paul D going, and until next time, guys, I will see you later.